That is a story of the three Buddhist monks who have not become Buddhas. Ah, from this story we can see that if we just practice on the outside and the inside, we have not really regulated well, not really controlled well, not really became a naturally compassionate person, then no matter how long we practice or what kind of practice we do outwardly, it will not bring a lot of success. This is just a story, but it is like that, logically speaking. We have to practice from inside, within, because the Buddhas or heavens, they all know what we think, not just what we do. We cannot cheat heavens and all the divinities and the Buddhas or the saints. First, if we fake it like a, we are good practitioners, but we don't really practice well, we don't really put our heart into it, and we are not really sincere, then we are not pure enough to become a Buddha, or at least meaning that we are not a pure practitioner. We are not the real saint. Just have the body that maybe looks like a saint, and the clothes maybe look like a saintly Buddha or monk, or none, but we are really not. So any practitioner, especially the Kuan Yin practitioners, we should consider to be absolutely pure in our motive. Otherwise, it doesn't matter how long we say we are practicing, we go nowhere. So I hope that you remember that the real practice is inside, within, not the outside. That's why often, I mean, normally we, the practitioners, don't tell of our inside spiritual visions. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes okay. But for good intentions, we can tell in front of the Master or in the assembly, not to boast. If we have the intention to boast about it, we will lose it and we won't have it again. Or even if we have it, the Master Power will cover it, so you don't see it, so you cannot boast again about the secret of heavens. I wish all of you, no matter what situation, to continue to hold on to your faith, meditate well with all your heart, all your mind, all your sincerity, not just to benefit yourself, your family, your friends or whomever around you, your neighbors, but also to benefit the whole world. And for that, I thank you. God bless. God bless all of us. God bless the world in time of trouble. There's not much more I can say or want to say anymore. I just wish the humanity wakes up and realizes what's good for them and what is not. Before it's too late. It's not just about their health, their well-being on this planet in their present lifetime, but it's about the next life where punishments are waiting for them in such a terrorizing manner that they could not even imagine. But it will happen if people don't change into a more benevolent lifestyle befitting the children of God and according to the law of the universal love. Thank you to all of you for being good, for being awakened soon enough. Take care. I am always with you. Pray God to keep you safe. Pray God for others who are still weighed by ignorance. God love. What is here to search for endless pain or sorrow? Sarah.